Okay, my eyes are tired. Overall, my body, my body is wearing out. But I'm doing this for y'all. So here goes. That's the funk we got a beat going on. Hi everyone, uh, Daniel here again, back with another episode of Girl Crush. Um, you already know what it is. It's kind of self-explanatory as well. I don't need to tell you much else, I guess. So in this episode, as you can probably tell by what I'm wearing right now, we're going to be talking about Alexa Bliss, aka the new Raw Women's Champion. Yeah, Alexa Bliss, everyone. New Raw Women's Champion. She won it last night. Here she is now, me talking about her. You already knew this coming, you know, after Instagram and such, but here's me talking about her. Okay, the first time I was exposed to Alexa, I didn't have the best impression of her. I just thought this, that the whole glittery thing just wasn't really working out well for me. It just sounded super cringy. It, it looked almost super cringy in my eyes. But, uh, eh, I don't know, I mean, there's really not much you can do with her at that point. However, fast forward until her alignment with, um, Blake and Murphy, oh my goodness, that, you know, her current gimmick right now, the gimmick she's rolling with, the Lil Miss Bliss, completely changed my, my views on her. It was only a matter of time until I would call her one of my all-time favorites, and, uh, here we are now. <laughs> actually calling her one of my all-time favorites and someone who I would put up there with uh, the likes of Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, and of course, Bailey. One thing I noticed about about Alexa's story is that, you know, when she struggled with an eating disorder, that that's something that, that, that's something that really, that almost ended her life. It could have ended her life, but she chose not to let it overcome, uh, let it overcome her. Instead, she chose to overcome um, that that life-threatening disease. I mean, I could I couldn't really imagine myself, you know, being diagnosed with like some like an eating disorder and all. Um, it's something that um, that people tend to overlook so much, but um, it, it'll happen. It'll happen if you don't, you know, if you don't eat properly or if you don't do all the necessary things. But okay, enough of that. So earlier in her life, she she did a lot of like gymnastics and cheerleading. And it really showed. It really shows with like her her move set in the ring. I mean, she's probably one of the most athletic um, athletic individuals in the WWE right now. During like her eating her period, like her eating disorder thing, that when she got into bodybuilding, that ended up um, with her making the transition to the WWE. And uh, as they say, the rest is history. It's a really inspirational story when you think about it because you know Alexa. You know, Alexa was born to a family, uh, to a, to a family of like, um, uh, like teen, uh, teen parents. I mean, I think, I think, um, as far as I can work out, you know, her, her mom was like 16, 17, somewhere around there. But it was, it was at a very young age and they didn't really have a lot to work. So her family decided to like, you know, open up their own business and anything to like, you know, anything to like give Alexa a great life. But of course. She probably couldn't be living any better life right now. I mean, she's in a freaking WWE. She's 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 a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion, and of course, right now the uh, Raw Women's Champion. And I honestly couldn't be happy for her. She just brings this kind of charisma that I don't really see a lot in a WWE Women's Division. You know, for the most part, unless you unless you're talking about like Sasha Banks or Becky Lynch or in some ways Bailey. Besides them, I don't really see a lot of it. It kind of looks like Alexa be is about to be pushed to the freaking moon and back. But it's definitely a push I don't mind, at least for now. And like I said, I mean, I can't think of anyone else, like a lot of other uh, women wrestlers who could, who, who are, uh, could actually fit the bill, like right now compared to Alexa. I might, I might have triggered a lot of people right now, but that's just me. Sometimes if my opinion pisses you off, um, yep, yeah, uh, these are my opinions, not yours. Something you're gonna have to deal with, guys. But, eh, feel free to disagree with me now in the comment section below. Anywho, uh, where where Alexa is right now, she's pretty much like living her li living her dreams. I mean, I think I watched like um, 
you know the, the whole series in which like my son my son slash daughter is a WWE superstar. Um, I think I remember her mom telling her like, you know, you want to be a you want to be a statistic, or you want to be more than a, a statistic. I, I don't know what what the exact words are, but I think it's somewhere along those lines. And uh, she chose the latter, and it's probably one of the best decisions that she's ever made. And like I said, it got her to wait where she is now. And you see tons of people like gushing over her. I mean, like I said, like she brings such a bravado and charisma, you know, to the WWE women's division that, like I said, I I rarely ever see. I mean, she could get a crowd so riled up that it's it's, it's always so fun to watch. Like, you know, when, when Alexa speaks, I mean, I just can't help but listen. Listen and look. And she just has this like unique attitude about her that not too many WWE women wrestlers have. Honestly, that, that that legit turned me on. And and man, honestly, I can't wait to see bigger things for, for Alexa somewhere along the future. And of course, off like outside of the ropes, I mean, I've seen, you know, I've seen photos of her with uh, with fans. I mean, I, I heard she looks, she's, she's like super nice to fans. So honestly, I mean, maybe someday I get to me, I'll get to meet her. I don't know if she's gonna be watching this video, but if you are, girl, Keep doing what you do. I mean, I don't say this lightly, and I know I say this a lot, but you really are an inspiration to a lot of people, myself included. Uh, honestly, like, keep doing what you do, girl. And I cannot wait to see more from you. I can't wait to hear more from you. Well, mostly see more, but honestly, like I said, keep on doing what you do. And um, yeah, you got a bright future ahead, and uh, don't ever look back. Love and peace and love or whatever. <laughs> if there is uh, one thing that I can say about Lex is that um, probably my chances are not going to be um, as great or um, no, nah, I'll, I'll no, nah, never mind. Scratch. I'll have zero chance. Probably point one of a chance, but never, never mind, never. Um, because apparently she's engaged, so um, I try not to. I don't really want to mess around with it, but. I'll make, I'm still making this video anyways, I mean, I'm recording it, um, maybe for that YouTube ad rev if this goes over 10 minutes, but um, editing might, ch might, might alter a lot of things, but uh, you know what, what else, just gotta roll with it, yeah, but yeah, Alexa, love you to death, um, yeah, can't wait to see more from you, and you are going to be leaving behind one hell of a legacy, and um, yeah. Keep on, keep on being you and doing you. Yeah, that'll be all. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this um, rambly and impromptu girl crush video thing. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment down below on who else do you want me to cover in, in the next episode of Girl Crush. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.